Scoopit is a web curation site that is sort of like a blog uh, tool, but is actually something that is much more oriented at collecting media and not necessarily uh, spending a whole lot of time on interpreting that media. Let's take a look at what a Scoopit page looks like. Here is a page from uh, that was in my buffer from a couple days ago. This is uh, our, our, our coastal restoration page. So when we first look at a scoop it page, what you'll see is there's some some stuff up here. There's some there's some stuff about um, who created it, how many people have viewed it, uh, how many people have viewed this particular um, uh, scoop it site. You'll see some, uh, for example, some suggestions either suggested by other humans or suggested by the bots that are prowling the web based on your parameters. So stories that you might be be interested in. And what you'll do is as you scroll down, the most recent stories will uh, generally be near the top. And then as you go towards the bottom, you'll get to older and older stories. And then if there's, there's uh, many postings, you'll um, uh, have various pages you can go back in time. These are all searchable, both by the title, by keywords, what have you. As we go up here, you'll notice that um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, log on to Scoop It, create a free account. Everybody can get a free account. Uh, create that. And then you're going to want to follow uh, our relevant class. And of course, follow other ones. You can follow other people's, etc. The, the general idea with, with curation websites like this is rather than just a, a, a broad brush a blog site or rather, a, or rather than a broad brush news feed, the idea here is that humans are curating information relative to a particular topic and as people that are passionate or interested in these topics, they're going to pull together stories that tend to be more interesting on average, more relevant to you than a generic search engine. You're going to uh, uh, begin to follow various topics. And what I'm going to do here across the semester, and, and you guys uh, will also do this, is we're going to post things relevant to our particular class or a particular discussion we're having that week or, or something that came up. So this is really a way for me to direct. Uh, it's sort of like a, a, a communal, uh, more graphical version of a bookmark. You could consider this a blog where there's some information and then the, the curator of the list or the curator of the site gives you some insight and that's what we see here. This is generally the default information from the web page that we scooped and this is some type of insight. Uh, really the focus here as you can see is it's, it's very graphical and it's also, and for example, if we post a YouTube's uh, uh, multimedia clip you can just watch the media clip directly you don't have to be taken to another site um, but 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 it, it's it's really meant to pull things together and be an annotated bookmark site not take up a lot of your time not take up a lot of uh, space but communicate that effort in an elegant relatively compact way so just to uh, uh, continue with that orientation, here we have the name of the particular uh, Scoop It site that we're talking about. Um, we have, what else? This is the, per this is the, in this case, this is me. This is the people, the person that created it. Um, we have some alerts here. What does this say? Uh, here, let's refresh this. This is a little bit old. This is a couple days old. Okay, so what this says is uh, today 43 people have viewed this, or have viewed all the pages from here. 35 people have viewed this particular page, and then how many people have viewed it over time? Um, you can look at uh, how many people have curated. Oops, where do we go here? Let's, let's do this one. Uh, well, anyway, this tells you when the site was created, etc. This guy's will tell you something about uh, somebody, um, somebody liked this story, and I guess a lot of people like this. Seven, seven people like this story. Um, people that are following the topic, etc. And so the so I so I that was that had a number there six, and then I I clicked on it, and now it'll go away. What's this thing? Oh, 
this is just something about I have a gold star yeah, with Duo. That means, I don't know, I have a gold star. Um, if we look at the overall topics, what we see here is um, these are all the different uh, topics that I curate. So folks in coastal marine management will want to follow this page. Folks in ESRM 200 will want to follow this page. Folks in Capstone will want to follow this page. Um, when you first come up to scoop it, when you turn it on in the morning, let's say, what you'll see is something like this. You're going to see some of the initial feeds for all the different topics that you follow. So if it's our class one, you'll see from that. If it's from other ones, you'll see those. And the most, uh, the, the newest ones and the ones that are getting the most clicks will be pushed up towards the top. And so that's a great place to start. You can also come up here and and scroll down to the, well, in this case, these are the topics that I um, curate. You can also get to these topics by, let's do this. You can also get to these topics by uh, looking at the topics that I follow. So I can click this way. And I can see all these different topics, aquaculture, et cetera. And then, ooh, here's, here's an interesting one from the CSUCI Environmental Film Series. I can click on it, and I will uh, be able to, to scroll through all these things. Wherever I am, once I, I find a topic that is interesting, I can uh, either click on the originating website to take me to, for example, the newspaper site itself, or by clicking the link, it'll take me straight to the relevant page and and we can read all about it uh, if you now how this is going to work in practice in our classes we have I have an educational license which means that you guys can can co curate with me the problem is we're, we're limited to only um, let's see the 20 or 25 fellow curators on a site so that works great for my smaller classes my larger classes not everybody will be able to um, uh, uh, curate that way it's not a big deal it doesn't matter it just it just um, means either you can scoop directly or make a suggestion if you are interested in and you we are signed up and you are ready to go how that would work is if you go to How this works if I come up to here and I go to bookmarklet. Depending on what browser I'm using, I can now, uh, this thing, it's a scoop, but I can click and hold and drag it up to, uh, for example, my bar. I already have one here. And this little bookmarklet makes it very, very easy to do scoops. All I have to do is go to a site. Let's Let's find a site. Um, anything of interest here? Let's let's just say that this something about rethinking military policy was a story we wanted to scoop. I can just hit this little bookmarklet now, and it will will begin to generate the scooped post. I can go in here. I can edit this if I want. I can change uh, the the photo that that is being displayed, or I can have no photo. I can enter my comments, I can share it on social media, I can enter some keywords, etc. Then I would hit publish and it would um, and it would uh, go to the scoop it site. Alternatively, alternatively, um, we can come up here and I could just uh, copy a link somewhere and paste it in directly. I could also do a scoop without a URL URL if I just wanted to uh, post some information saying I didn't have an active website uh, or web page that I could point to. So those are all different ways you can do it. Um, lastly, I'll just show you, um, for example, here's some suggestions. These are all, um, let's see, these guys are generated by uh, the, the keywords that I've entered into here. And so this is cruising the, the web. It'll find a bunch of things. When I think these aren't relevant, I'll say no, no, no. Uh, if it um, uh, 
uh, came from you guys or someone else and it was relevant, I could just come up here and say, OK, scoop it. And then it'll again jump into the, the way that you go about posting something. So it's a, it's a nice site. It's relatively clean, very fast, relatively easy to, to look at, to mess around with. And I encourage you guys to play with uh, play with this and to sign up and start using it. I'd like you to look at uh, Scoop It at least uh, twice a week, generally before each class, generally uh, maybe the night before or earlier in the morning when you have some time to actually click through and look at some of these stories. These will be great discussion starters. These will be great aspects to deepen your understanding of the topics we're covering. So that's a, a real quick introduction to Scoop It and web curation with the Scoop It tool.